Hey folks, um, this is Eric Lima, and you're watching the 462nd episode of my YouTube show, The People's Lima. Well, guess what? Final day of vacation, back to reality tomorrow morning. Boy, it's been a crazy, crazy week, yeah? and it's been a wild week, not only here on, uh, not only here on YouTube, but um, at home here. Um, you know, it's been been nuts. It's been crazy nuts. So, it's back to reality tomorrow. Get to uh, go back to my job. Just cleaning out the outside of the mall. Looking forward. There's, there's going to be some changes at the mall. Three new stores are going to be added to the Dartmouth Mall. Uh, Duke's Bakery. It's a bakery of gluten-free stuff and everything else. And the bakery that health nuts need. You know, I got to be. I got to start being a health nut. I'm going to need to lose some weight here. Two. We have a bounce. The kids need a bouncy house, and we have bouncy houses all over each mall there is. So why not all mall have one? So we have a bouncy house on the way. And but one of my favorite stores that I visited when I was over at the Emerald Square Mall in Attleboro, Massachusetts. It's coming here to the Dartmouth Mass, Massachusetts Dartmouth Mall. That's right, the Toy Bowl. Cannot wait. I cannot. Can't. I cannot wait. And just uh, is is just. I'm really excited. You know, vintage, you know, toy, vintage figure, action figures like GI Joe, Star Wars, He-Man, Transformers, GoBots, Power Rangers, Ninja Turtles, heck, and uh, and and just uh, you know, it just <laughs> it, it's something else. I'll tell you, it's it's, it's something else, and just uh, and uh, well, just uh. It's it's gonna be it's, it's gonna be so it's gonna be so wild having fun. Also, vintage video games as well too. There, because I saw them over in Attleboro. Hopefully, they're gonna be coming here. Can't wait! 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 So I'm really excited about that. Red Sox beat the Yankees last night, eight to nothing. Yes, the Red Sox are on a roll. Fourteen and ten is the record. Tonight they're supposed to be having a game. Rumor has it could be rained out because we're gonna have ucky weather coming in. Don't worry about it. I think we got this one. I think we we can do it. You know, Rick Port Rick Porcello did an excellent uh, Rick Porcello did an excellent job shutting down the Yankees for seven innings, and the bullpen took care of the rest. So, and Robbie Ross and Junichi Tezawa got the job done. Yes, sir, Pop. And um, today, since six years ago, that I started this job. That's right. You know, SMS was a company that cleans out the malls. It started off in Swansea, which. Um, which I had a job under the, uh, the district manager I was working for. And I'll be honest with you, I never, I, you know, yesterday was six years since I quit Ruby Tuesday. And uh, I never get a chance to talk about it because all the craziness has been going on for the last, for the, this past week. Um, you know, quitting Ruby Tuesday was not the easiest thing for me to do, but the final three months working there six years ago was, was really a drag, to be honest with you. And, uh, you know, the manager I've worked, the general manager named Christopher Vieira, he, I worked under him for eight years, and on, in February of 2010, he got fired, which I was kind of shocked. I didn't, we didn't, none of us saw it coming. None of us were prepared for this. So, and they brought in a guy uh, named Bao. He's he of Vietnamese descent. Um, he was a, a, a really tough manager, to, a really tough manager to work for. And it was really sad, and just I, when I say it was really sad, because he he's not he wasn't the um, he, he he tried to be funny, he tried to, you know he tried too hard to try to be friendly with us, but because we're not used to him, we're not used to his way of thinking, thinking we're not used to his way of doing things or his methods or anything like that, so we had a hard time trying to get in some kind of in sync with him, and it got to the point where. A lot of people ended up quitting. In fact, 30 people quit since Chris Vieira got fired. And it was not that easy, you know. And I tried as much as I know how to, to you know, keep going, you know, be stay committed to the job and everything else. But unfortunately, I uh, one time I broke, I even broke down and cried on the job. That was how, that's how bad it was. And it got to the point where, well, they took, you know, they, they shrunk down my shifts from uh, six days to, to three. They, they cut it down in half, and then all of a sudden they cut it down to one day on Saturdays. They said, we don't do day dishwasher anymore. I mean, it was really stupid because I think it's a big it was a big mistake for letting day uh, letting day dishwashers go to the point where, hey, you know, um, 
and and ended up uh I ended up getting a job over at Swansea Mall and on May first I started working at the Swansea Mall. I felt very uncomfortable there. Um it wasn't all it wasn't all that fun, you know, because I had shifts of, you know, working Tuesday through Saturday to through Sunday basically and I never felt comfortable working Sundays. I never felt comfortable leaving church uh, leaving church service early just to go work. And uh, you know, like back in the day it was a tradition where it's all just Monday through Friday, you have weekends off and just uh or Monday through Saturday you have weekends off, you get Sundays off and just boom. You know, that's not what it was back in the it's no longer back in the day, you know, those times have passed. And uh the fact of it is is this, um <clears throat> <clears throat> well, during during the job, one of my su my supervisor who used to work at the Dartmouth uh, Mall said, "Hey, somebody got fired at Dartmouth Mall. You should go check it out." So I did, and that they were looking for somebody to work in the morning, six to ten in the morning, on uh, Monday to Saturday. And I said, "I'll take it." You know, I had to sacrifice a few hours to do so, but that's the sacrifice I'm willing to take because I get to work closer to home, and that's what I feel comfortable working closer to home. <coughs> ah. Excuse me, that's still stuck. Ah, ate some chicken today. So, anyways, um, so I ended up working there, and for a while I was working like well, three days there, and you know, three days um over at Swansea. But the the uh, the operations manager, um, maintenance operations manager Everett Reese, funny guy, heck of a funny guy. Wanted me to work Monday through Saturday, and I was more than happy to make that full time commitment working at the Dartmouth Mall. And then in July 3rd of 2010, that happened, and I was so happy. It was so great. He didn't even give me the, the, the weekend off that I was supposed to take for the Wellness City Festival, and that time the Wellness City Festival was still on back in 2010. This is, this is basically uh, six years ago, obviously. So, and I was really excited, and I was really excited. The only downside working at the Dartmouth Mall is you got to come in when you shovel snow. Like, I hated driving in the snow. I hated snow since 2004. But now the snow is gone. We can move on to spring-like weather. It's May. It's going to be fun. It's going to be awesome. So, I'm really looking forward to the spring and summer to see what kind of chaos and craziness and mayhem that I'm about to run into now. See, my hair looks like uh, Burt Ward from Batman, you know? <laughs> holy, cra holy craziness, Batman. By gosh, you're right. Anyways, uh, all randomness. Um, yeah, I'm, you know, I bought a few more items on Amazon. I, you, know, I, you know, I bought the Bootios t-shirt. And I bought t-shirt of one of my favorite tag teams from NXT. Enzo Amore and Colin Cassidy, or Enzo and Cass, or Enzo and Big Cass, the realest guys in the room, the certified G's, the bona fide studs, and you can't teach that. Can't wait to get their t-shirts coming. And I um, also bought a book called Artcade, about all the art of the arcades of back in the day. Um, the actual, you know, the actual art, um, articulate, you know, authentic arcade pictures from back in the day, so I can't wait to get that, so it'll be very interesting to see how that turns out. Well, and, uh, well, it's the, Red, like, the Red Sox defeated the New York Yankees, and I'm really excited about it. You know, they defeated the Yankees last night 8 to nothing. Uh, they beat the Yankees 4-2, to two, coming from behind win, thanks to Big Poppy's homer. Poppy homered again last night, and now, ho hopefully they'll be playing tonight, because the rumor has it there's going to be a rain out. There's supposed to be some rain coming in, and, um, yeah, rain coming in, so be very interesting to see how that develops. Tonight is also payback. I'll be watching that on pay, on the WWE Network, hopefully, and I'll probably, I don't know, I'm, I'm due to buy another, uh, so possibly I'll get paid this Friday, and, and I'll probably get another uh, WWE gift card, so we're, we're gonna start, I'm going to start buying more gift cards than food, so I can start losing some weight in a little bit, you know, and all that good stuff, so get some exercise in, just, uh, you know, hopefully the weather, oh, oh, the weather during the summer is very, very hot, so I can sweat, so I can sweat, I want to sweat, I want to sweat, I want to sweat, I want to sweat, so I can lose all this weight, man, you know, uh, <clears throat> so, anyways, so, that's all the time we have on the show, to my, you no, know, uh, I gotta remind everyone that the comments will not be appearing on the pages anymore, and the ratings will not be appearing on the pages anymore, so I'm very, very sorry, 
about to my uh, real subscribers out there because um, due to the fact we have trolls trolling my videos, um, you know, and spamming the same old stuff over and over again, and I hate to and I hate to do this, but you know, there'll be no more shout outs given, and don't and, and you know, I will be sharing them on another page. I will not reveal where that is to, to for fear that these trolls will probably follow me to that to that site, and I'm not going to do that at all. So, um, so that's going to be it. I'm going to be I'm moving on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move on from that drama from here on out. It's all about fun, life, love, and heart. And this is the People's Lima. It's Eric Lima here to my family, relatives, and friends. Thank you for your support and love. I do appreciate it. Keep it up. To my real subscribers, again, I apologize. But thank you for your support anyways. And if you have any questions, uh, go to the discussions page of my YouTube channel and ask. And um, I would be more than happy to uh, you know, give you some good, give you some answers. And um, if you're one of the trolls, you ain't getting any answers from me. So, moving on with my life. Remember, coolness is an essence of a happy person. Have a wonderful day. See ya.